The body-mind navigates and regulates its own existence in relation with attachment well-being. And up until now, the body-mind has depended on external experiences of social engagement to attain the fulfillment of those attachment needs. If we look back into the history of the body-mind, some of the most powerful moments that might exist within these navigational protocols are moments of intimate eye contact with other people where those people helped you feel seen and loved and safe and secure and supported and connected and embraced and recognized and respected and celebrated. For example, the body-mind might have some very powerful data from early childhood when a caregiver of any kind, a parent or somebody else, but any type of adult figure that was a caregiver in any form, looked into the eyes of that child and said or did something that helped fulfill that child's attachment needs. Maybe it was holding them. Maybe it was giving them gentle tickles on their skin. Maybe it was singing to them. Maybe it was saying something. Maybe it was validating something that they did. Maybe it was consoling them when something didn't go well. And so then this experience of social engagement externally created a felt sense of attachment need fulfillment, and that sparked the generation of implicit energetic data in the body-mind that now carries patterns of feeling and movement in relation with that experience. And moments of unfulfilled attachment needs are equally as powerful, unfortunately. And when there's moments where someone looked into your eyes and they made you feel very much the opposite, then that also sparked very strong data in the body-mind that now has these patterns of navigation and these protocols of regulation that affect how the body-mind maneuvers its own existence. And so if someone looked you in the eyes, especially the eye contact makes it stronger always. But if there is an experience of external social engagement where someone made you feel very unseen and unloved or unsafe or unsupported or disrespected or rejected or unappreciated, then that initiated data in the body-mind that now affects the way it navigates and regulates its existence, even if that experience is not consciously perceivable through the mind. The body-mind doesn't care about the explicit particulars. It cares about the implicit emotions and movement of the body. The body remembers how it felt and how it moved. And so were you opening your arms to give someone a hug and feeling loved and joyful? Or were you retracting and, and, and feeling, feeling attacked by somebody verbally or in any other way? Okay, the body remembers these patterns of how it feels and how it moves and it's always affiliated with specific internal needs of attachment systems. And the strongest experiences that create data in the body-mind that then navigate and regulate all of its own life are from experiences of social engagement with other people. Another example is if you've ever had a lover of any kind and that lover looked into your eyes and you just got lost and melted in the magic of just being consumed in this intimate, romantic moment of eye contact. And maybe they said something that helped you feel really seen and loved and celebrated. Maybe they said something that helped you feel so supported. Maybe they said something that helped you feel so vulnerable and, and close with them. Maybe they said or did something or, or even just a nonverbal cue without saying or doing anything, just a gesture of their body in your presence helped you feel respected and embraced and safe and secure. And then that created data in the body-mind that navigates and regulates existence. But here's the catch. When that happens, the body-mind is then dependent on its navigation and regulation based on interactions with those other people. And then the body-mind will constantly try to approach those people 
to help receive the fulfillment of its needs. And if those needs are not met, especially by those people, then it will be surviving the lack of attachment need fulfillment. Okay? And so then you might constantly be going back to somebody that you know isn't good for you, but your body mind has all this data about how they help fulfill your attachment needs and you can't not approach them. Or maybe you keep having these unhealthy relationships with certain people, or maybe you keep approaching certain people because the body-mind doesn't know how to feel its attachment need fulfillment without those experiences. Or maybe you haven't had people like that, and your body-mind is constantly surviving the fact that its attachment needs are not being fulfilled through social engagement. Okay? And so the body-mind has this data of navigation and regulation, and it completely depends on the well-being of specific internal needs of attachment systems. And most of those experiences come from social engagement, beginning during early childhood, as the infant looks into the eyes of its parent or caregiver, and the attachment bonding actually begins the process of neurodevelopment. The neurodevelopment stuff can't happen without some kind of interaction. If a baby's bored, it's just like, all right, all right, good job, baby, have a nice life, see ya. Like, it's not gonna survive. Its brain's not gonna develop, it's not gonna live. And so the whole process of how this whole brain, body, body, mind system even comes into existence at all is through this process of attachment development and social engagement. And so here we are then, you know, many years after being an infant, right? But the body-mind is still like, hi, I'm learning to navigate and regulate my existence based on attachment well-being that highly depends on social engagement. Okay? And so all of this data in the body-mind, it might hold information that doesn't navigate or regulate existence effectively. Or maybe that navigation and regulation is not effectively supporting the actual essence of the self. And this, there could be like literally hundreds or th thousands, hundreds or thousands of examples of how this can manifest. <laughs> so I won't go into that in this video. There could be literally hundreds of thousands of ways that unique or disrupted navigation or regulation in the body mind can affect experience, um, mental health, emotional health, action pattern health, the health of decision making or behaviors or habits, relational health, even spiritual health. All of these different things, mind-body connection, the ability to consciously make choices, the ability to regulate emotions, all of these different things completely depend on the navigation and regulation of the body-mind. And then there's also the unique potential for independently developed memory centers where different stimulus and different scenarios cause the body-mind to navigate and regulate existence in completely different ways. Um, and so that can also be pretty unique, okay? So there's all these potentials for unique or disrupted navigation or regulation of the body-mind. Um, but even if that's not happening, there's always the potential for it to improve. And this is something so beautiful to explore as well, because even if it seems like your health is like pretty good, you're like, yeah, my mental health is good. My emotional health is good. Like I, I have some pretty good healthy habits. Like I, I have healthy interactions with people. Like I feel connected with life and stuff. Like things are good. There's actually always room for improvement and expansion. So you don't have to like have some implicit health challenge to be like, oh, I'm going to work on my implicit health. Um, so that's also really beautiful. So Instead of working with the data in the body-mind, instead of going back into past experiences and trying to create attachment need fulfillment in those past moments, instead of going into memory data and bringing up the patterns of emotions and the patterns of movement in the body-mind and trying to transmute them and rewrite them, instead of going into the specifics of the neural wiring, like, okay, is the left and right brain hemisphere connected? Like, are we doing this? Instead of going into all of the navigation, which is memory data from every moment of your whole life, instead of going into all the regulation, which is dozens of complex systems beyond our comprehension operating in every moment, because being alive is a miracle, instead of going into all of that, we can actually find the one space that all of this stuff meets. We can find the one space where all of this stuff, it's all of these different things, 
the moment where you were six months young, the moment where you were five years old, the moment where you were 10 years old, the moment where you were 20 years old, the moment last week, the moment where you were mad, the moment where you were excited, the moment where you had these great habits, the moments where you didn't have great habits, the moments where your brain hemispheres were completely disconnected, the moments where your brain hemispheres were fully connected, the, mo the all of these different things, we can actually just find the one space that unites all of them. The one thing that all of these things have in common. And that is attachment systems, attachment needs, internal needs of attachment systems. And so by going straight to the foundation of the body mind and working directly with internal attachment needs and these systems of internal attachments, we can effectively and enjoyably re-sculpt any or all of this data. And this is profound in like infinitely mind-blowing ways. Because you can literally rewrite your whole life without looking at it. Speaking from personal experience, right? Right? If you've been following my journey, like, 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 like I I couldn't remember my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> and and that massive, massive, massive severe amnesia was after four years of the most severe healing that you could ever possibly conceive of, which is an understatement, okay? You can literally rewrite your whole life without looking at it. You can literally re-sculpt trillions of energetic pathways, trillions of networks in the brain, trillions of networks in the body-mind, Dozens and hundreds of complex organizations of regulation and navigation hidden in these energetic flows without looking at it. Without even understanding what it is or how it's working. You don't have to like, you don't have to be like, oh, how, how are my unconscious memories like affecting me right now? Like you don't, you actually don't need to go into that to totally have power to re-sculpt it. It's incredible. And so when we work directly with these attachment systems, we actually create a felt sense of attachment and fulfillment for parts of ourselves while growing attachments between parts of ourselves, right? So then instead of the self being attached to that lover or the, you know, the, the young self being attached to that caregiver or that, that self being attached to that person or that experience that fulfilled attachment needs, then this part of the self is attached to this part of the self and this part of the self is attached to this part of the self. Not literally parts of the body, but just to symbolize parts of the self. And then that felt sense of fulfillment is coming from the self independent of external experiences. And there's like dozens and hundreds and thousands of different ways to actually practice and apply this. And these are called social self-engagement practices. And I spent half a decade developing them and they have changed my life. I am only alive because these practices created healing in the greatest depths of darkness and impossibility. And now they just revitalize my life every day and bring beauty and bring love and bring healing and nourishment and grounding and support and just amazing, amazing experiences. And so the body mind always remembers how it feels and how it moves. The body mind always remembers how it feels and how it moves. And when we can prioritize how the body mind is feeling and moving in everyday moments, we start to cultivate our inner power. And social self-engagement practices are one of infinite ways to do this. Um, meditative self-love practices are like kind of a more broad, generalized uh, umbrella term to describe how some of this can, can be beneficial. Uh, meditative self-love practices can, can be can be good and nourishing. Um, go more specific, social self-engagement practices, and then go even more specific, Mirathons. There's lots of social self-engagement practices that don't use mirathons. You don't you don't need a mirror to do them, and you can just do them in everyday moments. There's hundreds of different social self-engagement practices that um, you can just do anytime, anywhere. 
but the most powerful social self-engagement practice, the most powerful way to rewrite the body-mind, the most powerful way to reunify and liberate and expand parts of the self, the most powerful way to understand and unveil and heal and transform and transmute and rewrite and re-sculpt all these energetic pathways in the body-mind that navigate and regulate existence is through marathons. Marathons. A marathon is when you practice the five steps of social self-engagement and the five stages of implicit experience, which are all concepts that I've developed from scratch through my implicit revelations case study. You practice the five steps of social self-engagement and the five stages of implicit experience in a mirror for extended periods of time, a minimum of like 10 minutes, but you could go many hours, which I have done many hundreds of times and I've rebuilt my brain through it and it's amazing. <laughs> I've literally rebuilt my brain through these practices. Um, and so they're just really incredible, really powerful, really amazing. And the body mind will then be gathering this information about thinking and feeling and moving to navigate itself rather than trying to navigate life externally. Okay. So attachment needs are not met or they're met in a very conditional way that depends on these external experiences, then the body mind's navigation and regulation won't be solid. It won't be stable. It's going to constantly fluctuate based on external experience. And then it's going to be trying to navigate and regulate life based on stuff outside of itself. And then if that person that fulfills your attachment needs is suddenly not available, or moves away, or you you have some time where you don't talk anymore, or whatever, or whatever it might be. If it's a, a certain type of situation, an experience, a person, a place, a thing. If there's this external source that is fulfilling attachment needs, but then it's like not there anymore. Then the body mind is navigating and regulating existence in this way that's like very dependent on that thing, and then it can't be stable. It can't be grounded. It can't help you navigate your own self because it's trying to navigate reality based on those things and those people and those places and those situations and those things. Okay, and so we want to help teach the body mind to navigate itself more than it is navigating outer experience. And as the body mind learns to navigate itself, then it can more effectively navigate outer experience. Okay. And so the body mind learns to grow attached to itself. Parts of the self learn to grow attached to the self and create a felt sense of fulfillment from within. And these practices can help heal literally any implicit health challenge. And if there are no implicit health battles, they can profoundly help to expand implicit well-being and continue to further reunify and liberate and expand infinite parts of the soul self, the soul self embodied through the body mind. If these concepts or journeys interest you at all, I invite you to explore all of my offerings through Kristen's Quantum Catalyzer. There's over 12, there's 12 or more different sacred soul session offerings, which are one-on-one -on -one personalized journeys with me that each have a different focal point. Healing Journey Magic, we dive into transmuting a, a, a mental, emotional, behavioral action pattern, relational, spiritual health challenge. Loving Liberation Soul Sesh, we dive into healing attachment systems of the body-mind and creating a felt sense of loving liberation for parts of the self. Implicit Revelations Discussions, we explore topics explored through my personal healing journey or the Implicit Revelations case study. So instead of it being something applied personally, it's kind of just more a discussion to explore these concepts through conversation. Um, and then there's Consciousness Consultations. We explore how to consult with the consciousness of self independent of brain body wiring. There's traditional intrapersonal treasure mapping where we use the liberated consciousness diagram to sculpt a personalized treasure map of your body mind wiring and parts of your soul self to understand specific aspects of your personal experience. And then from this expanded self connection and inside and introspective understanding of what's actually happening deeper beyond your awareness inside of your own being, then 
then we create a plan of action, some practices, some, some course of action for you to help transform, transmute, uplift, or expand that particular region of body, mind, or element of personal experience while connecting deeper with parts of yourself. Interpersonal treasure mapping is a similar concept, but you actually bring in a loved one and we create treasure maps of both of your body minds and then actually explore how your body minds are interacting with each other. And this can help improve your relationship with yourselves and your relationship with each other. And so this might be, for example, uh, romantic partners or a parent and a teenager or coworkers or best friends, etc. Expand awareness to observe the roots of personal experience. We explore the liberated consciousness diagram to connect with the roots of reality and discover a brand new practice I've created that is basically like a mindfulness practice if you were to like categorize it but it's like way more expansive than that um it's a really profound way to actually feel the infinity of your essence in everyday moments and to connect with the infinity of yourself even when encountering finite components of reality and to connect with the true essence of you rather than these aspects of experience and to help distinguish the essence of you from experience and then from that space in this practice then you have so much more power to basically do anything whether you're trying to heal a really severe health challenge or whether you're expanding into a greater embodiment of your authentic soul self um, and then with that there's the optional sacred mini marathon it's like a miniature marathon practice not as complex as my other marathons and it's a really powerful way to actually see the essence of your true self, to actually see the roots of your own reality, to actually perceive and receive the love that is the true identity of all that you are. And it's a really beautiful, beautiful journey and a powerful practice to uh, take home and, and nourish your being with in everyday life. Inner child play for loving liberation. We explore we explore ways to connect with the inner child, childhood self, or foundational self aspects independent of childhood memories and independent of the perspective of the childhood self through specific styles of navigational and regulational energies in the body-mind influencing realities of consciousness. And so, for example, we might explore right brain hemisphere and hind brain activity and the patterns of energy in there and how we can connect with the inner child or foundational self aspects through the application of practices that activate those energies rather than going directly to the childhood self. And in that, there's also the option to directly work and play with the childhood self and bring up specific memories and actually create patterns of healing for the attachment systems there. Mystical Odyssey imaginatives are an inward journey. We close our eyes for it, and it's an inward hypnotic adventure of consciousness. It's a channeled experience where I serve as a guide to lead you through your body, mind, and soul self aspects that are dwelling within your being beyond your awareness. And there's infinite different potentials for this, whether you're trying to reunify with different parts of yourself or understand your internal landscape better or re a new internal landscape because what's going on isn't really supporting you to the best of its potential. Um, there's so many different ways we can we can work directly with specific memories and transform them. We can go through a fantasy fairy tale to create a new layer of data in the body mind. Um, and so it's a guided journey that I serve through, and then that session is actually recorded, and you use that in several different ways for many weeks and months during different brainwave state activity and allow it to actually rewire parts of the body mind. And so it could be an intention to rewire a region of existing data, or it could be an intention to sculpt new layers of data. And in that process, work directly with parts of the self as divine consciousness and also influence the body mind wiring that navigates and regulates existence. And one specific type of mystical odyssey imaginative is social soul self inward imagination ignition. And this is another sacred soul session offering. It's so magical, so magical, so magical, so magical. 
Social Soul Self is an inward hypnotic adventure of consciousness, an inward guided journey, but specifically to practice social self-engagement through your own inner imagination. And so I said there's so many different ways to practice social engagement, right? I mentioned that. There's so many different ways to practice social self-engagement. This is one of them. You can just close your eyes and imagine it. (laughs) But there's a very, very, very specific process. And we go through, and there's over 18 different ways to distinguish different parts of the self flowing through different parts of brain body wiring. And then there's like hundreds and dozens and thousands and millions of ways to represent those distinct parts of the self. And then there's 22 specific attachment needs that we're striving to fulfill. And there's like, there's this very specific process. And I've spent five years developing these. And you'll see if you explore the content, I have insights in there. These methods have been used to transform the impossible. These were the exact methods that were used to uncover and rewrite suppressed childhood trauma that was at the foundation of over 100 disabling health challenges. And then after healing, using these methods to heal, they were used to rewrite years of amnesia. Like I got through the greatest depths of challenges and literally could not remember my entire life. And this was the exact practice I used to start recovering my memories and rewriting them without getting lost in the stories of the experience or the disintegration of the brain body wiring. And now they're used to uplift and reunify and connect and expand. And and they're actually very useful for creative expressions because you get deeper connected with your own authentic essence in them. And so even if there are no like health stuff going on and you just want to use them in a creative, fun way to further expand, you can connect deeper with your essence and what you are wanting to express and actually have more creative clarity in any endeavor. And so now I use social soul self just to have like enjoyable experiences and and have these amazing imaginative adventures and start to co-create new new aspects of reality from within. And everything that I then express or Um, go towards externally starts with these inward journey of social soul self where I'm socially engaging with my own consciousness through my imagination and then that precedes um, all of this other stuff that I do and express and, and be externally. And so Social Soul Self is another Sacred Soul Session offering. And with this, I teach the concepts, serve as a guide through a practice, and allow you to have everything you need so that this can become your own journey that you use in the weeks and months and years to come. And this and several other of these offerings come with complimentary playbooks. They're like workbooks, but so much more fun. And they have so much insight and hands-on practices and tools and just simple clarity and summarize concepts so that from this call, you then have something to walk away with very tangibly and be like, oh yeah, we talked about this. Okay, yeah, now I can remember how to do this. And it's a great way to help integrate everything we go over. Um, And then you have this for forever, you know, like this isn't just a one-time session with me. This is a quantum catalyst. These Every single offering is designed to be a quantum catalyst. And so when we connect, you're not just like walking away from a call like, okay, I have a couple insights and I feel a little better. No, like you have like life-changing insights to understand your experience in revolutionary new ways and practices, hands-on tangible things you can actually do and apply for weeks and months to come that will then impact you for years in a positive way. And so every single one is a quantum catalyst to leap into that next layer of healing restoration for the body-mind and loving liberation for infinite parts of your sacred soul. They're so, so amazing. They're so magical. They light me up like no one's business and every single one has been concepts that started literally before I can remember hashtag amnesia joke and every single one of these concepts has helped me completely change my life completely rewire my brain completely re-sculpt my body mind completely reunify with parts of myself and experience more of who I am than I've ever known in my whole life and that is the greatest feeling that you can ever imagine And coming from where this journey began is pretty amazing, okay? And if you haven't followed my journey, please do check out some stuff. You'll be like, whoa, that's that's an evolution. Hmm, That's that's a little bit of an evolution right there. Just a little bit. There's just been a little bit of change. Just a little little bit of evolving. (laughs) Just 
just a little bit of evolving over there. Okay, and then so we got the mystical artist imaginatives, the social soul self, and then as if all of this wasn't magical enough, the most powerful and sacred and intimate and divine and complex and transcendent and profoundly miraculous. Like, I feel like I need a moment of silence because these concepts are so profound. And these journeys are so powerful. And the process that's led to developing them is so mind-blowing beyond anything I can put into words ever. Just a moment of silence in awe of this, what I'm about to share. The most sacred, divine, intimate, powerful, transcendent, and life-changing service that I offer is through the subconscious unveiling and transformation techniques, through intimately personalized marathon journeys. We can explore how the body-mind is navigating and regulating existence by exploring ways that it is recognizing and resonating with itself in a mirror. And so the body-mind has trillions of networks that are carrying memories from your entire life. But instead of going into those networks, we can actually just see how they're being reflected. How they're being reflected. Because when we look in a mirror, we are actually seeing a projected reflection of navigation from the body-mind. And so as we do that, then we have a chance to see how the body-mind is navigating all of life by how it's navigating its own existence. And in that process, we can pinpoint hot spots, as I call them through the subconscious unveiling technique, which are spaces of disintegrated wiring. It could be spaces of unprocessed emotions, spaces of un uh, in incomplete action patterns, movement patterns, or survival responses. It could be parts of the left and right brain hemispheres that don't have complete connection. It could be aspects of the mind and the body that don't have full connection. It could be regions of independently developed memory data that doesn't have full connection. Um, there's dozens and dozens of different potentials for this. There's over 30 different potentials for what can be unveiled through this process. And you can discover all about this through all of my free introductory playbooks. Every one of my Sacred Soul Session offerings comes with a free introductory playbook. Some of them are really long. And um, just another gift of love from my heart to yours because I am fully dedicated to this work. I am fully in dedicated service to you and your healing journey of loving liberation. And I am ready to meet you exactly where you are with the greatest spark of loving liberation you can fathom, okay? So every single one of these offerings comes with a free introductory playbook so you can really get a taste of what this medicine is and know exactly the transcendent wonder that you're investing in when you choose to connect, okay? And so there's lots and there's, there's several different introductory playbooks for the marathons because they are a bigger journey, a bigger investment, and quite frankly, a bigger deal. We can explore how the body-mind is navigating all of existence by how it's recognizing and resonating with its face and for deeper journeys, also its voice and its body in a mirror. And in this process, we come eye to eye, face to face with parts of the self. And you might meet a part of your five-year-old self that never got to see the adult they grew up to be. You might meet parts of your 12-year-old self who never got to fully know that they grew up to be someone amazing. You might meet parts of yourself who went through stressful or traumatic experiences who never got to know that they made it out okay. You might meet parts of yourself who were heartbroken from relationships and now they get to know that they have a relationship inside of you. You might get to meet parts of yourself that are creative and passionate and expressive and you actually never got to know those parts of yourself because they were tucked away so deep inside of you. You might actually get to meet parts of yourself that you didn't know existed and you're like, wow, this is amazing. Who are you? I want to get to know you because I've never met you before. And so we get to dissolve these human stories and connect deeper with the soul self and we get to rewire these parts of the body mind. And from a one hour, two hour unveiling journey, we create a new layer of unconscious memories, 
while reunifying parts of the self and unveiling hot spots that can then further be resculpted through the transformation journey. And so these mirathons are available in several different ways. One is through a one-time unveiling journey. You're like, I just want a one-time journey. I don't want to do like multiple journeys or like nourish my attachment needs through mirathons regularly. That's just not my cup of tea, but I'm very curious about a one-time journey. There's the one-time full feature journey where we do the unveiling journey and then you receive a personalized mirathon prescription playbook and a prescription at the end of the session from me, where based on what we unveil, you then have a practice to re-sculpt those hot spots that we discovered and reunify with those parts of the self that we came face to face with. And those are kind of the starter ones. But then if you want to dive even deeper, there's a longer term one, three months or more, where we meet once a week for a one hour marathon and the journey pr gradually progresses instead of all of it happening all at once. And so instead of like a one time, two hour quantum leap, it's this gradual <laughs> quantum catalyzer. And every week we unveil new regions of the body mind. Every week we come face to face with new parts of the self. And then you also have your own practice that you're doing every other day, even if it's just 10 minutes, it doesn't have to be like an hour or two hours, you get to make it your own because it's a personalized prescription, a marathon prescription. And so then you and I are meeting once a week for one hour and I serve as a guide through the unveiling marathon journey using these techniques. And you can explore more about them. There's over 150 potential mirror coordinates. <laughs> over 150 potential mirror coordinates, and each has a different energetic correlation with navigational, regulational patterns in the body-mind and aspects of the self that are connected with through those activations. And so then we meet once a week for a one-hour marathon. And during the week, you also have your personalized marathon. And then every single marathon is recorded through an audio so then you receive the audio playback of it so then you can also take these guided journeys by me on your own you can redo repeat re re-experience the guided journeys with me on your own as well to complement your journey and this can truly re-sculpt the entire brain this can really rebuild the whole body mind this can really reunify trillions of parts of the self no matter who you are where you're at what you have experienced or what you are experiencing and they are powerful and beautiful and gentle and loving and intimate and expansive and playful and passionate and, and just profoundly remarkable on every possible level. And then in addition to all of this, okay, and so that journey can be um, three months or longer with weekly sessions. Every single one of these is very customized and personalized to fulfill your intentions with the blueprint of my offering. And then I also have a couple other offerings that are for several months that combine different components of everything I just shared. The Healing Journey Magic for Loving Liberation six-month personalized program is if you are encountering an implicit health challenge and you are ready to resolve it. You're fully in. You're fully dedicated. You're like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done living with this implicit health battle. I'm done not having power within it. I'm done limiting the expansiveness of all I know I'm here to be because I'm not, I'm not meant to live with OCD for the rest of my life. I'm not meant to live with anxiety for the rest of my life. I'm not meant to live with insomnia and depression for the rest of my life. I'm not meant to live with PTSD for the rest of my life. I am ready to transmute this. I am ready to do whatever it takes. I am ready to get to the bottom and the foundation of this. I am ready to go into the deepest layers of my brain and body-mind wiring and re-sculpt it. I am ready to lovingly liberate all of these parts of myself. I am ready to shapeshift this. I am ready to do daily practices that will change my life and feel good on the way. Healing Journey Magic six-month personalized program is for you. And we get to the bottom of what's actually happening in the patterns of navigation and regulation that are causing this implicit health challenge. We rewire them and we reunify parts of the self. And it is a fun, playful, enjoyable process that creates true, effective, and enjoyable transformation. And then there is the loving liberation, liberating consciousness, advanced, personalized program. And this combines 
every single one of the offerings I just shared. The consciousness consultations, implicit revelations discussions, treasure trove tete tates. I didn't actually mention that one. Uh, treasure, uh, in, interpersonal and intrapersonal treasure mapping, mystical odyssey, imaginative, social soul self, um, observing your essence of love, sacred mini marathons, the option for up to three hours of the subconscious unveiling journey. And we get to use all of these different types of medicine to fulfill your intentions. And so if you're looking at all the different options, you're like, all of these actually seem like they could really benefit me right now. How am I supposed to pick just one? Then this could be for you. And we explore all the different ones and then really focus in on the ones that are most benefiting your journey to fulfill your intentions. And it's personalized completely to fit you. Um, and it's just a really amazing, powerful, magical, transformative time. And then you can also complement these journeys with any playbooks like the implicit transformation, um, self-love liberation, personalized marathon prescription, uh, lots of different playbooks and programs um, and courses that can complement these journeys as well. Um, and then with that, also, in, instead of connecting one-on-one, -on -one, you actually just want a self-guided journey. There's lots of different options uh, from kind of shorter ones to much longer ones. Restoring consciousness and dear inner life partner, mere play with mere power are kind of on the, the, the shorter end, the simpler end, but still very, 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 very powerful and effective. And then um, creative connections is the, the, the biggest investment for the longest term transformation. Um, so there's lots of different options. And then I also have video collections and a merchandise store to complement the healing journey. Um, and so if any of these concepts resonate with you, then you'll definitely want to explore my offering they are so powerful, so magical, so beautiful, so transformative, and I am so grateful for the opportunity to share. So, social engagement. Socially engage with yourself, nourish your attachment needs, and watch your life change. Thank you for being here, and thank you for being you. Have a beautiful and blessed day.